I will try to limit the theory part to the least possible extent, but of course, some part of the theory has to be there. Uh, I will try to make out as much as possible certain of the practical issues which we are facing and certain very crucial issues related to the practice as such. In the classroom also, we, there could be lots of confusion about the description of Rudra Sotas, but virtually there is not much of a confusion. Every compartment of the fluid in the body, whether it is extracellular or intracellular, is described as Rudra and there is a clear that description of that Rudra in Vagbada as such. If the Sarvashari Ragatam, Bhakshat Raka, or it could be moved from Nudhi Raksha, or Sveda, all the fluid, including the Lasika, which is below the skin, is considered as a Udaka acid. And Udaka Vahasvotas is an all permanent uh, uh, distributed uh, structure. And it's not the only the structure, it's also the function of the body, maintaining the fluid and electric patterns as well. Next part, of course. Uh, next. The, we are going to jump to the interests of Bhutule, that's a Prameha. Now whether Prameha has to be considered a Bhujata Vahas Sotas Disorder or Medo Vahas Sotas Disorder. We are not going to the discipline. It can be, you say, we can go on arguing, debate can continue infinitely. So for today, I take the other side, like considering that Prameha is a Bhujata Vahas Sotas. If you want to clear that Prameha is Medo Vahas Sotas, on some other way, I can clear on the other side. So, we will not have a dispute, so, but for the present, we will consider the Udaka as Hotel Prameh Hans Udaka as You have an excellent description mentioned in Tarakas where the Basti is considered to be the Sarvas Hotel Sam Udaji Atadanam is done. The Basti is an area where all the Udaka as Hotel confluences together and it is compared to the sea and the rivers as well. And of course, the Udakana Sotana Sotasam Taru Mulam Plomacha. Ploma again a disputed object. And many of the so-called anatomists of Ayurveda, they consider Ploma as pancreas. So very easy to consider Udakana Sotas and Prame has related to Udakana Sotas as well. So instead of going to all the dispute, let us first take it for granted like we are discussing Prame related to the Udakana Sotas as well. Next next step. And in the uh, is one of the diseases which is related to the basti. Now basti is whether it is through bladder or other way, again a point of dispute. I consider basti as all of the urinary tract, it's not only the bladder. And in the urinary tract there are again two categories of the disorders, mutra kiksha, mutra ghata and the prameha. Prameha I consider as a, the nephrological problem. The mutra ghata and mutra kiksha are the urological problems. Even if you go to any modern hospital, you will always have that kind of a dispute, like whether a patient has to be taken to the nephrology or urology, and uh, then all that common issues would be there. Similarly, that can have been certain issue, and the issue of clarification would be based upon that part, like uh, ramehas are considered to be the nephrological uh, problems as well. And uh, the mutra ghata and mutra kiksha are also related to the basti, but basti is not only bladder, but it's about the whole urinary tract as such. And in case of the Prameha, the, it's not only the Udaka which is included, it's a, the Baku Abadham Medo Mansum Sharidam Kriraha Shukram Sokam Vasa Madhya Lasika. So almost every component of the body is a, involved in the case of the Prameha. So Prameha is a, a really broad spectrum disease in that sense which involves many of the disease conditions as such. Uh, uh, right, next, next, next step. Relation, next step. <coughs> now, we will we'll not waste much time on the theory part. So, I thought, uh, now, directly jumping to the Prameha as such and a bit of a controversy about the Prameha. Prameha, of course, as you know, there are 20 varieties of the Prameha, mentioned the Prameha. And uh, the basic reason or basic ecogenesis of the Prameha is considered as a Anything which adversely affects the mero mutra kapaham, which affects the mero mutra or kapa, and it could be any of that, anapanapriya japane prayahat or pravatra, any of it could be either anapana, food, or the activities, lifestyle. So it's a lifestyle disorder. Primarily, the basic definition of prameha is considered as a lifestyle disorder. And there again, the major etiological factors mentioned are navadhanya. Uh, 
in Sura, Anupu Mansa, so also grace, and moreover, let us turn as another kishin. Shayram, Jeb Divarjita. A preference to sit in the same position, and rather sedentary, let's say, and Shayram Jeb Divarjita. Tendency to sleep during the lectures. That's it. Uh, so on, of course, that's a birthday of the students. <laughs> now, anyway, the uh, a, a tendency to sleep and uh, rather a better description of a tendency for the pranaya, either it could be a clinical sign or maybe a identification of a person who tends to have the pranaya, is described by Sushuba, and that description is very classical. Such a the man of the sun, sun, asking which is a person who tends to walk. He who is walking now, who he prefers to sit. A person who is sitting, he prefers to lay down. And a person who is laying down, he tends to sleep. And a person who is asleep, he avoids everything. So, Asana, Bruja, Shayam, Shayana, Supreme Chari, that's a fantastic description. And probably no other textbook anywhere in the world describes the clinical signs of the Kamehameha so beautifully and as perfect. And probably you can't have any better description of the clinical presentation of the Kamehameha. And next question. Now, again, uh, another basic fundamental disputed issue. Very popularly in among translated uh, uh, these uh, conditions, diabetes mellitus is translated as mother. But uh, maybe I am the one person who is discarded. I don't agree that Madhumeha represents diabetes mellitus. Because diabetes mellitus is uh, having all the clinical signs of a Kapaja Pramiha, whereas Madhumeha is a Vataja Pramiha, and the clinical signs of Vataja Pramiha are totally different than what we see in the clinical condition. And moreover, you have a very clear cut description of the uh, Madhumeha. That's it. Kalena Atraji Purvataha Madhumeha Pramayati is the terminal state, in the state of any of the Pramayas. When they are not correctly, correctly managed, they may become a Madhumeha. Or, if when it is any of the Pramayas is present in their congregation, like Pidaka Apiditam Gadham Upasthastam Upadravehi, when you have the Upadravas or the uh, so-called abscess condition, then only it has to become considered as Madhumeha. Otherwise, it's not Madhumeha, rather majority of the patients who we treat in the clinical conditions, they are to be categorized as one of the variety of Kapaja Pramiha, either it could be Ikshwari Kameha or whatever the name you give. Or of course, then the next, there is another issue, another basic issue which is described in our text is, again, Sushuna has given the classified the Pramiha as primary Sahajaha Apathini Mithrashtar. A genetic pathology, genes which are responsible for the brain are identified by social or the lifestyle acquired disorder, disorders which are acquired by the lifestyle acid. That itself is a categorization of the Pramaha into two categories, which are mentioned by Charaka as either it could be Stulaha Pramaha, Parvani, Hegaha, Kushasta, Hegaha, Paridur, Parashta. You have two categories of the Pramaha patients, either it could be Stula Pramaha or the Kushasta Pramaha. Stula Pramihi would have a different sort of the prognosis. A approach to the treatment will be different, and Krishna Pramihi has a different sort of the approach to the treatment. When we go into the diabetes mellitus, you have the two categories of the diabetes mellitus, the type 1 type 2, or insulin dependent, non insulin dependent. Insulin dependent diabetes was related to modern nomenclature, current uh, medicine, uh, recent editions of the textbook. They consider every diabetes as insulin dependent and they categorize it as type 1 and type 2. Anyway, whatever the nomenclature issue, we are not going to much of that again, what else is such. That type 1 is typically the pressure pramayi and it's an insulin dependent condition, practically it's an insulin dependent condition and it's considered as a, either pressure sardia or asad. Whereas the type 2 diabetes mellitus is the one where is lifestyle which is a major responsible factor and definitely it can be managed with a great extent as well. So, Prameha, again, we, it, it doesn't make any much difference whether you call it as Madhumeha or something else. Uh, again, we are not going to the dispute part. Like, uh, 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 in popular, everywhere is mentioned as Madhumeha is considered as a synonymous diabetes mellitus, but technically, 
is not. Madhu Meha is something different, and the diabetic inhibitors which we consider is totally different issue as well. Now, this type 1, type 2 conditions, which are now the established norms, they were mentioned 5000 years back. That's all another important the credit of agricultural literature. And moreover, the relation with the genes also is mentioned. Now, when it comes to the question of relation with the genes, I would like to dwell a bit more in detail, though it's not related to the real practical experiences, but there is one of the important issues. So I would like to draw your attention to that issue, uh, controversy and issues related to the genes and the diabetes mellitus as such. Now, next slide, please. So I will take throughout the body. Now, you know, it's quite popular. Now, Indian, India is to be considered as a diabetes capital. And the incidence of the diabetes in India is considered to be the topmost. The rate of diabetes incidence in India to be considered to be the highest in the world in the future. And it is predicted like by 2024, uh, more than a half of the diabetes patients will be in India. And every second Indian could be diabetic. So, in the hall, if you count, you may have more diabetics than the non diabetics in that condition. So, that's what's predicted. Now, so we will have, have some view about that kind of issue. Uh, in, in fact, if you look at the global incidence of the diabetes, type 1 diabetes, I think you can make out that uh, green, bluish color suggests about lesser incidence, which is uh, less than 2%, whereas the dark gray color is suggests of the highest percent, 25 In India, uh, I think that shows on the least incidence. Di type 1 diabetes, I have reference also, it's not what I am saying, you have the reference published in 2017, uh, relative latest uh, sort of the statistics from authentic sources. Incidence of the type 1 diabetes is comparatively least in India, whereas it is the maximum in the western country, particularly the Americans, uh, American subcontinent. American subcontinent has maximum incidence of type 1 diabetes, whereas it is the least in India. Whereas, next slide. The type 2 diabetes, when it comes to the question of type 2 diabetes, is the maximum is in India. Uh, India as well as Southeast Asia as it, whole of the Southeast Asia has the maximum incidence, whereas the, comparatively it is the least in the other continent. Now, what makes this difference? What is basically responsible for this? And how this has been other and how it is scientifically presented? That's one of the important points which we have to have a awareness, though I don't say that this has a very practical utility in the clinical management, but we should be aware of the issues related to that. Now, next, next slide. There are some more of the important issues about the incidents. These are statistical incidences, authentic sources. Now, the next slide is about the World Health Organization of Diabetic Survey data, where the mortality figures of the diabetes in India is presented over, that proportionate mortality of the death total Diabetes induced is uh, quite significant. It's uh, quite significant. It's, it's around uh, uh, in the age of 30 to 60, the incidence is around uh, uh, 75,900 as such in the males, 51,000 in the females, and the incidence of mortality is increasing gradually. In India, diabetes related mortality is increasing and majority of that issue is related to the type 2 diabetes. This also is very interesting. Type 2 diabetes is supposed to have a better prognosis, comparatively better managed, whereas type 1 is comparatively difficult to be managed. So, we will have to consider all that issues. Next slide. Now, similarly about the incidents, now this is from the USA data, purely from the states. The survey of diabetic patients in USA, it has shown like the, and of course, uh, I think the type 2 diabetes is always related to the obesity, weight gain, lifestyle, that's a factor. And the BMA, the body mass index, is supposed to be one of the predictive factors for the diabetes risk asset. Now, BMA incidence in USA citizens, among USA citizens, incidence in the USA, and the origin, races, that incidence of India, that red box item, that's the incidence in India and African races, that's the comparatively maximum, even if the BMA is comparatively lesser. Compared to the BMA of uh, average BMA, that red line suggests about the average BMA, BMA, the risk suggests about the diabetes incidence. But even with 
that relatively lesser BMI, incidence of the diabetes in, among the Indian races and African races are higher. So, same life said, producing a higher risk of diabetes in Indian races and African races, that led to the next, the lots of theorization and uh, the studies. Another of the incidents, another of the factor which has drawn the attention to the research about the genetics and the related issues is that in general, the body weight of Indian population is lesser than the Western population. Underweight population in India is higher. The first graph is about the underweight population in India. And comparatively, among the underweight, diabetic patients are comparatively higher in India than elsewhere. Whereas heavyweight or overweight obesity is considered as a primary cause for the diabetes in throughout the globe. Every textbook says that it is obesity which is responsible for the diabetes. And with that universal BMI index, which we consider BMI index, where it's more than 28 and then it's considered to be prone for diabetes, or there is another metabolic uh, syndromes, we will come to that part also, which are considered to be a cut off level for the diabetes. Compared to that, Indians, even if they have a lesser BMI, they are more prone to develop the diabetes as a, that's, that's one of the important information which is derived from that statistics across the globe. 